Hi, welcome to Doc Talks Online. Today's uh, topic is typhoid vaccine. So some interesting facts about typhoid. Uh, typhoid actually has killed two US presidents. Uh, more people died from typhoid and dysentery in the American Civil War than gunshot wounds. Contrary to what people think, concentration camps were not an invention of Nazi Germany. Uh, the British actually first had concentration camps in South Africa and those are the famous Boer Wars. Um, the British used to call the Dutch Boers and these were farmers that had many colonies and they, they were against the most powerful colonists of the time which is the British Empire and the British Empire raised a war against the Dutch farmers, the Boers and, and what they did was in those days they created concentration camps for the women and the children along with all the enemy soldiers which were actually they were farmers and they all got these diseases, especially typhoid and a lot of children died and a lot of women died at around 25,000 believe it or not and that's the, uh, that's the first use of concentration camps uh, in, in the world so typhoid was in those camps and was a deadly disease the other interesting association, I'm from New York and of course typhoid Mary is, is from New York um, in fact Mary Malone as, as was her name, she was a cook and she was responsible for a typhoid epidemic and they traced it by checking sewer samples and they found the building and they found the house and they found the person and when they tested her they found that she had typhoid so they recommended her, her gallbladder to be removed because typhoid bacteria live in, in the gallbladder um, and she refused so they treated her but they could never completely cure her of the typhoid carrier state and years later they found another epidemic in the city of New York and again when they traced it they found the typhoid Mary who had been quarantined actually had escaped was living in a different name and again was the source of another epidemic and at this time they actually quarantined her and they passed a law in the state of New York which is called the public health law under which if you are a threat to the public health they can take away all your civil rights and quarantine you as, as if uh, it's, it's like a prison and uh, New York state is very unique in, in having passed that law and it's all because of a person who was, uh, who was a carrier of typhoid and caused these epidemics of typhoid. I think she was responsible for a few deaths and, and many many cases of typhoid of course. So even today typhoid kills around 200,000 people worldwide and those are just statistics that we can collect. The actual number of deaths might be even higher. It remains a disease of the tropics, uh, predominantly all of Southeast Asia. Uh, if you look at South America, especially the eastern border of South America uh, as well as Africa, uh, the only country that probably does not have typhoid as an endemic disease or as a disease that's always there is South Africa. So if you're traveling to one of these countries, uh, then you are at risk for developing typhoid and it's highly recommended that you take a typhoid vaccine. We get a lot of questions around the typhoid vaccine when people are traveling and we are a CDC certified travel clinic. The typhoid vaccine is recommended for six years and older. If you have a child that's traveling with you between two and six years, that's the kid that you would want an injectable form of the vaccine. So there are two types of typhoid vaccines, uh, an oral form and an injectable form. My personal preference is to recommend the oral vaccine over the injectable vaccine. The oral vaccine is not only really simpler to take, it actually works right in the intestine uh, where the typhoid bacteria are trying to gain entry into your body. Uh, so it's a, almost like the first line of defense. Whereas the injectable vaccine works through your body making antibodies and then waiting for the bacteria to get in and then fight them. Uh, the injectable vaccine does not prevent uh, the disease from entering uh, through the intestinal mucus lining. Okay? The second thing of course is the injectable vaccine involves giving somebody an injection whereas an oral vaccine is much simpler, you just take a pill with some cold water and you're done. So let's now talk about typhoid and why we don't see typhoid today in the US. It actually goes back to prevention of contamination of water supply lines with sewer lines. Anytime you have both these lines in the same plane in the ground, there's cross contamination and that's how typhoid gets transmitted, it gets transmitted through water. So one of the best things that a traveler can do, of course, is to take the vaccine. The vaccine is only about 70 to 80 uh, percent effective. The best thing that you can actually do is make sure you wash your hands, dry them out, uh, wash your hands before eating and don't consume any raw eggs um, or bush meat like monkey meat for example um, and even salads that have been washed in water. So anytime anything has been made in water and it's not been cooked, you have to be very careful. So peeled fruits is okay, but unpeeled fruits, even if you wash them, is not okay simply because the water that you might have used for washing is not bottled water. Uh, boiling does kill the, kill the bacteria. The other reason I like the oral vaccine is it protects you for five years. 
the injectable vaccine, every two years you got to take another shot. So the oral vaccine is definitely better in that regard as well. So going back to the oral vaccine, it consists of four pills. Every other day you got to take a pill. So day one, day three, day five, day seven. And hopefully you finish taking all the four capsules before you travel. And every time you take the capsule out, you have to put the rest of the vaccine in the refrigerator. Not in the frozen section, in the refrigerator section. And that's really important, otherwise the efficacy of the vaccine is destroyed. So people ask me, uh, how bad is typhoid? Well, typhoid is a deadly disease. It does have a slow ramp up. So initially, you will, if you get typhoid, you'll have fever, especially afternoon fevers. Uh, you'll have headache, malaise, fatigue, tiredness. And it's usually the second or the third week you actually start developing diarrhea. So one of the commonest misconcepts is, if I don't have diarrhea, I could not have typhoid. In fact, it's the other way around. Typhoid does not cause diarrhea until it's advanced stage. And by that time, if you don't get the right antibiotic, um, chances are it's, it's going to be a fatal disease. Typhoid is resistant to a lot of antibiotics. So one of the only ways that you can make out what antibiotic will work for you is to actually take the stool sample, grow the bacteria in the lab, and you can easily see that this could destroy your vacation. So I highly recommend if you're traveling to any of these countries to take the typhoid vaccine. It's relatively very safe. The side effects are hardly any. I've personally taken it at least two times in the last 10 years myself and my family and I have kids and they've all taken the typhoid vaccine and we've, we've traveled to Southeast Asia without any problems. Also, when you come to StatCare, uh, you, we will give you a vaccine information statement uh, and this statement actually describes everything about typhoid, how to take the vaccine and it even has a number for you to call in case there's any problems. I just want you to remember typhoid vaccine and hepatitis A vaccines go together. Any area that you're traveling to which would be putting you at risk for typhoid disease would also put you at risk for hepatitis A. The second thing to remember, typhoid vaccination just by itself will not prevent you from uh, getting typhoid disease. You still have to practice hand washing and avoiding drinking contaminated water. If you like these videos, please feel free to comment on them and share them with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Doc Talks Online. Thank you. See you next time.